Pisces, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general reading for the week of July 9th to the 15th, 2018. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you guys so very much for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, Pisces, please do subscribe. I would very much appreciate that. For your reading, I'm using Tarot of Dreams. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. And as a reminder, Pisces, if the reading does not resonate for you, please watch your other signs. Okay. Oh, here. Okay. Pisces, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. July 9th to the 15th, 2018. For Pisces. So Pisces, those of you that would like to get a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, Instagram. Every day I do upload daily messages per element. Instant go if you would like a quick question answered. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Okay. All right, some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It could be any in this particular card, in this deck. And you're ready to really charge forward quickly. You know, this is that very hectic, chaotic, fast-paced movement. You really want to move forward quickly. Some of you could be traveling. And it could be for a social event, definitely, with the Three of Cups, parties, celebrations, you know, weddings, baby showers, that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, a celebration of some kind, really looks beautiful. Someone could be getting married, but for whatever reason, you're doing this quietly. Some of you could be dealing with a third party situation. The moon, the Three of Cups. You know, but I, I'm going to be honest, Pisces, I don't feel like it's negative at all. You know why? Because the, the, Knight of, the Knight of Coins, the Knight of Pentacles is usually a platonic friend. You know, so this is probably platonic and friendly. But I feel like if you're dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you really are getting your wishes and dreams coming true. You're, you're, they're being granted for you. Some of you, definitely a healing energy here. Some of you could be healing. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. An Aquarius could be healing. There could be some lies and deception with the moon. In the pet, you know. Confusion. Maybe in the past and now you're healing from that. You're, you know, you're. They're moving past past it that could be this could actually be a part of you you could be someone's third party water sign scorpio cancer pisces or aquarius you could have fire or aquarius in your chart fire fire being aries leo sag in your chart or you could just be moving forward with an Aquarius after lies, deceit, third party. 
But Pisces, I'm not seeing cheating. I'm seeing third part party intervention on an emotional level. Let's clarify it. Very interesting. Let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is doing here. Knight of Pentacles. Pisces. I feel like you're gaining clarity, enlightenment, to be honest. Is really what I feel like you're gaining here after lies and deception. Maybe third party cheating. Let's see. All right, definitely this card wants to come. <coughs> so sorry, Pisces. Wow. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, some kind of truth was coming out, but I feel like whatever someone was trying to tell an Earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, they did not, they were not listening. So you were not able to move forward. So if you were trying to tell someone how you felt, they didn't hear you. Closed off, shut down in the past. Wow. Okay. The Knight of Wands. Alright, definitely this one. Well, this is definitely your energy. The Queen of Cups. If you're female... This is absolutely your energy. Emotional, intuitive. Like you're trying to decide. You know, you really are. You're, you're really trying to decide. Do I get on this horse? And do I go tell this person how I feel again? Or do I try to make something happen emotionally with someone a water sign or a fire sign and I really feel like you are in one you're in a very big rush to do something you know the moon being in your central issue we have a uh, on the 12th uh, a solar eclipse full moon you know you could be you could be Finding something out. Let's clarify that. I'm saying I've said that to a couple of the signs. The, the, the moon has been. I've been using several different decks here, as you could see. And I do just feel like things are being revealed around this solar eclipse. Like, look at all this light and clarity here. You know, where in the past, they did, definitely did not hear you. They did not get it. Maybe now, let's see. We're going there right now. The moon. Oh, definitely this card. <coughs> I see I'm so sorry. I've been doing readings all day. And you guys are my 11th. It's a twin flame number, I'm just saying. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Okay, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. If you were being too overly emotional, holding back, hiding your feelings, that's coming out now. You're probably going to get the courage to do this. Three of Cups. All right, here, let me do that. Wow, okay, the King of Wands, a fire sign. Okay, you could definitely could be someone's third party. You could be dealing with a fire sign and an Aquarius. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, someone's third party, which would be a fire sign. And let's look at the star. I think a big decision needs to be made here. I'm going to be honest. Between 
You know, those cards just fell right down. Oh, absolutely. Gemini, the lovers. Big decision between an Aquarius and a fire sign. Being indecisive. Duality. Deception and all that shit. In reverse. This is what is so crazy. Some of you are making a decision between these two people. But whatever it is, I think making a decision between these two people, you're going to end up with the Aquarius because they're in your future. Definitely needing to make a decision. You need to let someone go. And your third party is now... Your third party is a fire sign now for others of you celebrating this person and you're having emotional material troubles with an Aquarius or a Gemini you're needing to do something you're needing to do something for someone I'm not sure if I'm not sure you want to, though. I feel like you might be tempted to actually lie to someone, Pisces. Be careful with that because I think they're going to be able to see right through you. But whatever you've been trying to say to someone, you absolutely need to try again. They did not hear you before. And I do feel like this is definitely on the love front. All right, I'm going to get you some additional guidance. Ma uh, Mystical Wisdom Oracle Cards by Josephine Wall. Amazing deck, really. Epiphany. Speak. Seek clarity. Communicate. Literally. Whatever it is. Whoever you're in love with. Whichever one it's going to be. Pick one. Bring them clarity. And I, I, I do kind of feel what the star card you are. They are. But I feel definitely communication, enlightenment, clarity, that aha moment, like, oh my God, this is the one. Definitely beautiful. That is it very nicely. Pisces, if it did not resonate, please watch your other signs. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video, for your support, just everything. You guys are amazing. Have a beautiful, blessed week, and I'll see you here for the morning messages. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.